Hello there, so now we will have a look at the new tournament for the next week, Battle Royal. Okay, my opponent will be this player and this is in the training stage. Now we are going to play the battle map on the map Simum. Now let me discuss that in this you have no base at the initially. You will get some infantries and both faction will get only infantries. And you will have to collect the containers that looks exactly the same as resource containers and after you collect those containers you will get infantries out of it if you collect any small containers you will get infantry that could be any kind of infantry here you see i got one get grenadier and here i got one sniper and here the enemy infantries that enemy got initially is also collecting infantry and enemy got one heavy assault so here the all the enemy units are all together from the very start i'm trying to avoid them now because if i keep clashing with them i will keep losing my infantry slowly so i would rather spread them on different direction that's how i choose to do it from the start and i will try to collect more containers because the more containers i will collect each will provide me one extra infantry and this will also prevent my enemy from getting any one infantry so I should uh, collect this, uh, each container will make two infantry differences. Now here you see one big container here that looks like exactly like a big container, big resource container. However, these containers will provide you either vehicles or helicopters. That's what I have found out so far. Uh, and very probably you will not get any hero units. And of course, whenever you collect, you will only get allied un your own units, not any allied units or hostile units. Just your own units. It's not like Joker tournament or other Christmas uh, tree tournaments. You will only get units, so there will be no po uh, problem in collecting it. You can collect all these without hesitation. Now you see some zone has arrived. Now the uh, map can be divided into three zone normal zone yolo zone and red zone now yolo zone means that this zone you see there is a timer above which says this will become red in one minute and 40 seconds so after this timing this zone will become red colored and if any units is inside that zone that unit will automatically be destroyed here the enemy uh, killed one of my sniper and took this and meanwhile i'm going to take this and also I would like to remember while this zone is YOLO, containers will still be placed into the YOLO zone. And the, there will be also containers after the zone is uh, has turned red. But you should not uh, collect containers that are at the red zone because if you just send your units at the red zone, your units will be destroyed. Now in this fight, I will say I definitely had a big win here because if i keep uh, destroying uh, small uh, detachments of the enemy army then i will be able to reduce their army in uh, size so it's preferable that you keep all your armies together because if there is a major uh, clash that will decide the outcome of the game so you can keep one or two infantries or some small units to scout and enlarge your army but meanwhile you should uh, also keep all your main armies all together so that they won't be an easy target and will not be killed easily now here you see i'm going to try to capture these containers now you see this container is on the yolo zone but the center of the container is on the uh, yolo zone while the part of the container is on the normal zone now if the unit stay in the red zone for too long then it will die so it hasn't it's just uh, still making red and some light red color okay so these are the red zone so if you stay here you will die but you see despite staying here it did not die because it just take a few seconds so i did not uh, uh, take that much long i just uh, went out of the that red zone so i got lucky to be saved from that but if you just said anything including helicopters vehicles infantry all the units will die if they are at the red zone
now he's controlling the southern portion of the map and I'm controlling the northern portion of the map so we are actually getting almost half of the containers right now and my armies are being stationed here we are not both are not yet prepared to start uh, initiate a major conflict small containers so infantries one big container here I will take this and the, another big container here it is here so I will not try to contest for it he sent one infantry I should be very careful about it I will not let him take containers at my side because that will be very disastrous for me I need to at least take half of the containers if that's what I could do now we got uh, Coyote, Armadillo and Mammoth so you can get both uh, assault vehicles and special vehicles both types of vehicles so sending one infantry probably for scout or for collecting research container to see if my armies were not there then he could have taken the chance now the yellow zone has also started again the size of the map will be even more smaller after that now my infantry is still on the yellow zone I'm not moving it because there might be container placed here now I'm gonna try and take more containers at the southern side I'm gonna move my army at this location so they have their main army and my armies are not in a very well position so I will retreat for now if he follows me and his armies are come to attack me with uh, ch chasing my carries like that then his army will be dispersed and I will have a better chance to deal the finishing blow so I collected this big container and got one coyote one coyote is not much big deal however I still think yes I survived from these two cyclones so at least one coyote was enough although this rifleman will be dead so he has two cyclones and probably those cyclones came from the big containers I have not received any helicopters yet okay we got our first Jaguar now you see the enemy is trying to destroy us here but uh, you see he's trying to avoid the red zone if he goes inside the red zone then he will be dead now you see this zone is still yellow and the battle objective is that you have to destroy all of the enemy units now this zone has also become red only a very little portion of the map is still left in the normal color so now I decided to engage in the battle the enemy seems to have even an energy shield so I think now I'm in a pretty, quite, uh, pretty good position to start my offensive keeping my vehicles on the move and my snipers are on the position also and I think I'm definitely going to win this and I will win this because of the huge number of my army he does not seems to have much army here I definitely collected a lot more containers and the objective is that you have to destroy every last uh, remaining enemy units once you done you have done that you are victorious so that's what I have done so there is no more enemy units left within the safe zone even the, in the red zone there could not be any units left because all the units in the red zone are dead so the last enemy units has been dead and that's how you can win this tournament.